friends and um, i welcome you to this uh to this content in today's uh video i will show you how you can use computer in your jam uh exam your forthcoming jam exam and i'm also going to show you the vital things that you need to avoid during your examination okay so what i just want you to do is pay attention to every part of of this video because every part of this video is very very important and it's going to help you in your forthcoming jump examination okay without further ado let's jump right to my computer screen so that i'll show you everything that you need to know to be able to use the jump system or how to use computer for your jump exam and also all the mistakes that you need to avoid during your examination Okay. So right now, uh, right here on my computer screen, now I want us to sit together with things that you need to know to be able to uh, make use of the jump system for your examination and the mistakes that you need to avoid. Don't forget, I'm Sylvester Alarijano. I'm a learning management uh, system expert. What I do is I show people how to uh, use the learning management system, how to uh, take an exam. Uh, I do review about things that are profitable. I talk about scholarship. I talk about web design training. And I also show you how to host the website. Anything centered around technology, that's what I show you right here. So uh, in this training, what are the things that are going to be covering? Right. So the things that we'll be covering is uh, one I'll be showing. Uh, I'll be talking briefly about the jump system and why students are failing. Then I'll be showing you the nine important keys that you need to know on the uh, uh, jump keyboard. Then I'll be talking about the jump facility center and I will show you how to write your exam and submit your exam. So the same exact system that the jump is going to give you on that particular day is the same system that I'm going to show or share with you right in this video. So first, in this video, uh, like I said, we'll be talking about important information you need to prepare for your forthcoming UTA. So you need to sit back right very well because this is going to help you and take away all your fear. And one thing that you need to do is you have to compose yourself before you start the exam. Um, once your CBT center is uh, assigned to you, you have to get yourself composed, get to your CBT center, and write your exam successful so why are students failing you might be thinking why are students failing reason why a lot of students are failing today is because they are not exposed to the ICT or CBT based examination also most students who are fear are also under prayer because they are fear when people have prayer some uh, kind of things will run through their mind and they will start putting themselves under that prayer so, when you are giving the computer to write the exam, which is uh, your first examination that you are going to write now, you have to take away every fee. Because most of the students that are their exam, when they get their uh, computer, when they sit in front of their computer, that will be the first CBT examination that they write. Writing a CBT based examination does not mean uh, you must write child. There are a lot of CBT based examinations out there. That you can do or that you can write that, that will expose you, or there are even some CBT practice examinations that you can take to prepare yourself for Jaja. So, so you can look at the description of this video, you can see where to practice Jaja or uh, CBT exam for free. So, so thereby, you have to get yourself composed. Get it? So, so one thing you have to do is you have to get yourself familiar with the jump system because it's going to make your UTM exam experience a win-win. What you need to know about your jump CBT examination center is that make sure you get to the CBT examination center before time. Make sure you turn on your computer and make sure everything is working very fine. Most of the time, all these computers are out of RAM or they don't even have a RAM at all. 
when, when you get, get to the Yosemite Center, make sure that you check your computer and you see that your computer is working fine before the time for your examination. Now, if you check at the description of this video, you will see a link to where you can reprint your exam uh, exam slip. So, right on my blog, I tell you where to print your exam exam slip. So you don't need anybody assistant to print your exam exam slip. Once you watch this video, look at the uh, look at below this video. You see a link that will take you to where you can print your exam exam slip on the exam portal. So what you just need to do at that moment is just to put your phone number or your email or your registration number and your exam slip will pop up that you can print directly so that you can know. The CBT center that is assigned to you. So, one thing you have to be very uh, serious with is time. You have to be very time conscious when it comes to the Jam City Center. Make sure you get to the Jam City Center before your time. Now that you know uh, what to do, how to reprint your Jam examination slip. How do you now take your exam? So how I'm going to be sharing with you the nine important keys that you need to use to write your exam examination. In most time, you might not be giving a mouse. Most time, you might have a mouse with you, like I can see right on my computer screen. So most of the ask in previous time or previous year, in previous examination, why am I not having a mouse or how can I write it? Exam. I fit my exam because there was no mouse. I don't know how to use the keyboard. I mean, I'm a, I'm a tech person. I know uh, when we were doing uh, some computer uh, stores in the school, we have to stop using the mouse and know how to navigate the computer, how to go anywhere on your computer without using a single click of mouse. So this has helped me master everything on the computer. Okay? So now, the first nine uh, keys that you need to write your exam, exam is this. The first one is A, the second one is B, the third one is C, then the fourth one is D, the fifth is P, the next is N, the next is S, the next is Y, and the next is Y. I'm going to be walking you through what all these keys maybe one after the other. So what I just need to do is sit back. Don't forget if you are a uh, new subscriber, welcome. If you are an existing subscriber on this channel, welcome back. Don't forget to like this video. If you share this video to your friends that they want to write their jam examination. If your kids want to write jam examination, share this video with them. Let them watch this video and get themselves prepared for their upcoming jam examination. Now, what does this key do on your computer? So, so like, like the caption of this video, how to use computer for your jam examination. Now, the first, the first four uh, key on the keyboard is A, B, C, D. Now, the A stands for option A. So, if you are giving a question and you have option A, B, C, D, in most cases you might have option E. In most cases, you have option A to D. So, in a scenario where you have option A to D and the correct option in your exam is option A, you can just click A on your keyboard. When you press A on your keyboard, it signifies that you choose option A. And we are going to see this together on the CBT practice software. Okay, I've also given a link at the description of this video where you can download the free CCT practice software that you can use to prepare yourself against your forthcoming examination. Okay, so if you want to select option A out of the option A, B, C, D that is given to you, press A. If you want to select option B, press B on your keyboard. If you want to select option C, press C. If you want to select option D, press D. If you have uh, a case where you have A to E as the option, press E to select E as the right answer. 
Now, when you select option C, for example, at the correct answer, it doesn't mean that you cannot change your option. If you've selected option C and you later realize that the correct option for that particular question is A, just press A on your keyboard and A will be selected. So in few minutes from now, I will show you how the system works. We'll be taking the exam together step by step. I think this has clarified the option A, B, C, D for you to uh, select your right answer. So you don't need the mouse to select or pick your right answer in this case. Now, the next option is N and P. Now, when you answer question 1 correctly and you want to progress to question 2, how do you progress? Instead of clicking the next button, you can just click on N. N stands for next. N stands for next. You can just click on N to proceed to the next question in your exam. Now, once you answer question 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you feel like going back to uh, question 2, for example, you can just press P to go back to the previous answer. So if you want to move from question 5 to question 4, you can press P. You want to move from question uh, 4 to question 3, you can also press P, which stands for previous question. Okay? So if you want to move forward, you press next. If you want to go back to the previous question, you press P. I think this is clear enough. When you are done with your examination and you are about to submit, Make sure you press X. S stands for submit. S stands for submit. So this will help you end all the exam and submit. Now, you don't need to uh, do any other thing when uh, you know that you are very sure and you want to really submit your exam. So when you press S, just press Y to confirm. So Y stands for uh, uh, yes, yes, that you finally want to submit your exam. So, so if you answer all your questions and you are done with your examination, you want to submit your exam, what you need to do right now is to press S, which stands for submit, and use Y to confirm that you finally want to end your examination. In a case where you mistakenly press S and you still have some questions to answer, what do you press? So this takes us to the last key on the uh, list of key that I highlighted for you. So if you mistakenly press S when you are still writing your exam, what you just need to do is to press on R, which will take you back to continue your exam. But if you uh, proceed to Y instead of R, it means that your exam is over and you cannot go back. So you have to be very careful when you are pressing all the keys on the keyboard. So let's take a recap right now. Like I said earlier, we have nine important keys that we need to be very conversant and used to, to write your jump examination exam. The first four is for the option, selecting option A as A for the correct answer, selecting option B for B as the correct answer, pressing C as C for the correct answer and D for the D as the correct answer. If you want to progress to the next question, you can press N for next. If you want to go back to the previous question that you've answered successfully, you can press P to go back to the previous uh, question. Now, when you are done with your exam and you want to submit, you have to press on S to submit your exam. When you press on S, then you have to press on Y to uh, also confirm that you really want to submit your exam. If you mistakenly press on S and you still have to go back to your previous exam, then press R to return back and continue your exam. So these are one of the mistakes that you need to avoid. Pressing S and pressing Y. So it's going to submit your exam automatically and there's no way that you can go back to write that exam. So I beg you, make sure you take your time, look at your keyboard very well, uh, don't rush, but don't be too slow on things that you do. Take your time, 
Some of us started ESO our exam does not mean you should jump right in and start pressing anything anyhow. One thing you have to do is you have to make sure that your system is working perfectly and your system is not making some uh, false sound because most of the time all the system doesn't have enough RAM to carry uh, what is being installed on them then they start making uh, some sound that would be RAM so make sure that your system is not making any sound if you notice any sound just call the invigilator to report this issue to them they will know how to resolve that for you so I think this has answered this question of the nine important key that we want to look at. So let's proceed into the other things. Now, how do you write your exam? So this is just an illustration right on my computer screen. Well, I just want you to know that you will be expected to log into the jam system with your jam registration number and your sign. So this is just as an illustration to show you that an interface will be provided for you when you are going to log in to the jam system to start writing your exam. So right now I'm going to jump on the software that I'm about to show you. Don't forget I'll drop a link at the description of this video on where you can download that software for free. If you watch my previous video on how to use the jam uh, CBT system, okay, you don't you can just skip this part. If not watch that, then you can continue to watch this part of the video. Now I'm going to go to the uh, software right now then I'm going to share with you the same experience that you have right here okay right here uh, this is a uh, this is the uh, jam system for example so this is not the real jam system okay this is just a practice system for you so I'm going to click on uh, the jam simulator i'm going to click on start exam okay so when you get to your jam examination all your combination will have been listed right here for you you have something like this that uh, your subject combination is english math physics and chemistry for example or uh, math uh, i mean english biology physics chemistry or the other way around according to what you register already so you will not have to select all these subject combination. So because I'm uh, using a uh, simulator system, so I'm going to go to practice mode. So right now you can see that uh, you have selected the following subject. So in your own case, you will see something like your uh, jump uh, subject combination is English, math, chemistry, physics. Okay. So now you have to prepare your mind. You are going to be answering 60 questions in your term. I think you have the uh, novel already. That is, that is the textbook that is provided to you. That's a, the life changer for this year. And uh, for previous year, this will also be the same uh, thing. So once you come back to watch the, this video, the system will always be the same. So what will be different might just be the novel. Okay? So, for your English exam, you'll be writing 60 questions or you'll be answering 60 questions. Then for your math question, you'll be having 40 questions. For chemistry, you'll be having 40 questions. And for physics, you'll be having 40 questions. So which make a total of 180 questions. Okay, you'll be having a total of 180 questions. Now, for this 180 questions, you can see the total number of questions is 182. This is well because this is a simulator system. So here you will be having 180 instead of uh, 50 questions, and the total given uh, time will be two hours. So that is 120 minutes. So you have to answer 180 questions in 120 minutes. So if you are not fast enough, you might not uh, finish all the exam, which is a uh, why uh, most of the students also fail the exam because they are not used to the uh, system, they are not used to the computer, then they, they take a lot of time and strength navigating to the next question. Okay, so you have to read all the instruction that is given to you by champ before we proceed. So, right now, I'm going to click start exam. So, at this time, this is when your time will start 
accounting okay so i'm going to click on start exam right now so when you click on start exam right now you can see that your time i've started counting from here so in your own case in your uh job exam right now you'll be having two hours here okay and you see the subject combination right from here exam now in section okay so if you don't want to start with english first so these are also one of the things that i want you to pay attention to it's not necessarily that you finish your english before you proceed to your math question you can always navigate from one subject to the another you can leave english and decide to go to chemistry first or you can decide to go to physics first depending on the one that you think you want to start with okay so if i don't want to start with english i can decide to click on physics from here so if i click on physics then i can start answering my question so please take notes, take a look at my mouse right now. I want to use the uh, key that we've talked about on the keyboard. So right on the keyboard, I want to select uh, okay, the inner diameter of the test so it can be measured accurately using. Okay, I will just pick in some random answer on this question. Okay, so let's say I want to use uh, I want to select A as the correct answer. I'll just press A on my keyboard. You can see that when I press A on my keyboard, the A option is being ticked. Okay, let me put the mouse here again. Let me go and select C. You can see when I click C on my keyboard, then the C option is being selected. Okay, so if I want to go to next, you can just press N. You can see that when I press N on my keyboard, then I come to question two. So if I want to go back to question one, I press P on my keyboard i press p on my keyboard and i go back to the previous question okay so if you decide that okay you don't know the answer to question two you can just decide to skip and just click on question three here and okay you can select your answer you can jump to question four and say a question jump to question five and say a question then uh jump to question seven answer your question okay you've answered like seven questions on that chemistry now or six question and you want to go back to math to attempt also math question just click here then you can one thing that you have to do is you don't have to spend a lot of time on questions that you know that you are not very sure of them so leave them you can come back to them later so any question that you answer correctly you can see that the color will change the color will change uh, i mean not correctly now the uh, question that you've selected an answer for so let's say question six now i've selected c as the answer and my correct answer then I can proceed to seven. You can see that the color of question six has changed compared to other ones that have not yet attempted. So the color might not be the same with this that you have here, but I just I'm just giving you an illustration what you are going to have or what you are going to experience in your jump exam. And also, don't forget here that your time is running from here. One important thing I want to tell you, or what jump will not tell you. That they will not tell you to come with a pencil. A lot of people are having this issue not going to the exam or with a pencil. Fine, you want to do some solvents, you know, is a CPT based example. At least you have to go with a plain paper and a pencil so that you can use it to solve some mathematical expression in your exam. This will make your work even more faster because you're thinking uh, from your head, oh, how do I calculate this? How do I calculate this? Your time is running. You are running out of time. So you have to go with a pencil and a paper. So this is just a piece of advice. Fine, you might get to the exam hall with your pencil and your paper, and they might not allow you, but you will know that you've cleared that from what you have done. And I'm very sure they might not stop you. It will help you a lot. So make sure you please go the pencil and the paper to solve and don't go with something else please don't go with something else go with plain paper and pencil that will be enough for you to solve your math question you are going to be having 40 questions so try and go with a higher notes 
maybe three higher notes, three inner higher notes. So from your higher notes, you can tear the middle, tear the middle, tear like three. Just go with it. It's it's worth it. Go with three. Go with three or four or five, depending on how you think or what you think will be enough for you to write your exam. Okay. So uh, question seven, I want to select my option. Question nine, I want to press D on my keyboard. Question 10, I want to press D on my keyboard. Okay, question 3. You can see now that I have four questions left on the mathematics to solve. Okay, so I can decide to jump back to English because English will take a lot of my time and because of essay and reading of paragraph, all of that. Okay, so to take a lot of time and to select. Uh -huh. Right here, you see that we have E. So we have E in most cases, you might have option A to E. So if I want to press uh, E as my correct answer, I'll just press E on my keyboard and my answer is being selected. So I can press N to go to the next question. I can also select C on my keyboard. I'll press next, that's N on my keyboard. Then I'll uh, I want to go back to previous question P. Okay, I think this illustration is very useful for you. So let's assume now that I've Okay, before we assume that I've finished my exam now, most of the mistake that most people do is okay. Let me go to question 19. Go to question 20. Okay, most people when they start with English language and they've gotten to the last question in the subject. Okay, let's say you've answered question 20 under English now. What's the mistake that most people do, or what um, is making most people also fail is that when they answer English correct or they get to the end of the English then they come here to click on submit no if you click on submit you will be left with empty uh, results from here empty results from here empty results from here so when you start with English first I don't know the pattern that you're going to use in your English exam I'm not saying you should start with physics first or chemistry first I'm just telling you what is doable or what is or what can be done with the jam system. When you get to the last question on, it, on this first subject, don't click on submit. If you click on submit, you are always submitting. Uh, you are always submitting everything. I mean, you are submitting all the four subjects now. So if you click on submit from here, it means you are done with maths, you are done with chemistry, you are done with physics. So when you come to this place, the first subject that's uh, English, and you get to the end of the last question, what you just need to do is come up here, come right, come back here, and click on mathematics. Then answer your mathematics question. Come to physics, answer your physics question. I mean chemistry question. Come to physics, answer your physics question. Then when you are done with all the four subjects combination, you can click submit. Let me take that again. When you come to English, you will answer all your English questions. Don't click on submit because this will submit all your exam. It means you are done with all the 180 questions. Okay? It means you are done with all 180 questions. So when you are done with English, come to math, answer your math question, come to chemistry, answer your math or uh, chemistry question, come to physics. Ask all your physics question, then click submit. You can see when I click submit, you see, are you are you sure you want to submit the exam now? Yes, I'm sure. So when you submit your exam, then uh, so you can see uh, the navigation that I just showed you right now. So now the extra bonus that I want to add to this is that I also want you to know that. Uh, when you are writing or you want to do some calculation though i don't know don't uh, let anyone see you it's it is not allowed or you can also try to be safe with it a lot of people are using it so what you just need to do is uh, to use the calculator for your exam you can press on the uh, window this window sign this window sign is always on your computer because i think uh, jump they're using window. I'm very sure they can't use a uh, uh, Linux system or combo. Preferably, we use desktop. Most of it is center, we use desktop. So, you 
always see this uh, you always see this window sign then press this window sign at the same time that you press out so press the window sign then press the out sign it will bring this wrong uh, wrong uh, terminal for you then you can type in this command that you have right here C E L S that's short command for calculator so when you press this it's going to pop up the calculator so we're going to be doing that together so right on my computer screen I'm pressing a uh, window R so when I press window R right here you can see that I have this uh, wrong command so if I type C E L S when I type that then I it's okay so you can do this when you are writing your job exam okay so let me go back to standard let me do that again you press the command and press ok so when you a, uh, a calculator will pop up right on your screen so you can just uh, drag that to one side while you are writing your exam okay so if you want to use uh, some scientific features of the calculator and just press this three line from here then go to scientific go to scientific then you have uh, some scientific features here if you go to function you can see you have this here if you go to trigonometry then you have cost data and all of them like that under there okay so i think this will also help you with calculation as well okay now in most cases or uh, let me say, not only when you are done with your jam exam, the results are supposed to pop up just something like this. So, this is uh, something that I've done before. Uh, this is a pre recorded video of this uh, area. So, you're supposed to see a result of your exam. So, I'm going to go back to that particular software right now. Okay. So you can see right here on this software that uh, your score is 6%, your jump score is 24, and your time spent is this. This is what you're supposed to have immediately you finish the uh, work. Immediately you finish your jump results. But because of so many reasons, jump has decided not to populate the results for them. So they will go through some uh, uh, process check and all of them then they will send your results to you via email or you can also check your results via the jam portal okay so now that we've come to the end of this uh, information or this training what are the things that you need to do next after you've submitted your exam all you have to do is just wait to receive your score via email okay you can also check your jam score via the jam official portal you can also request the assistance of the learning experience manager okay so you can uh, go to my uh, blog that's news.ctechnology.com.ng uh, go to the uh, contact section there and send me email i can uh, help you to check the jump score on the jump official portal okay so the most important takeaway that you have to remember is that the, this uh, explanatory uh, guide is a learn by train training for you as a student that focuses on helping you to understand how to use the JAM system to write your UTME exam. So, getting yourself familiar with the relevant key on the keyboard and also confirm that you attempt all the question. Make sure that you get yourself familiar with the JAM system. I'll drop a link at the description of this video that you can use to go and download the free software that we just submit together right now so get yourself familiar with the system practice as many times as possible you can go over and over this training over and over when you need to understand any part of this video so guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are just coming across this channel and don't forget to share this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to uh, share with your friend thank you very much you've come to the end of the training